our colleges are rife with weak-minded people. Case in point, Ohio college student angry and scared after cisgender men installed radiator in dorms safe space. You heard it, folks. So someone had to install a radiator, which is a... Usually in some parts of the country, you have a central air where you got air conditioning and heat coming through the same uh, vents. There's some parts of the country where it's a lot colder, where I grew up in California, where we didn't have this. You have these radiator systems where hot water is pumped through these units inside buildings and it goes through different floors. I suppose it's more efficient. I don't know. But then you, uh, you open this valve up and hot water goes through it and it radiates heat. Hence radiator. We had them in Germany when I lived there for three years. It did okay. I always found myself getting really too close to the radiator because it was really cold. Having said that, so you're mad and scared and angry that someone's upgrading your your safe space. Would you rather have a, I don't know, transgendered, two-spirited two demi, demi-kin go up there and install it? Well, not many two-spirited demi-kins install radiators. It's men, for the most part, who usually do this kind of work. You know, the kind of work you look down on, apparently. The work crew at Oberlin College, there's your problem right there, was installing radiators in a safe space for women and transgendered persons. We've gone beyond transgendered men and women to persons. (laughs) I was scared, angry, and confused. Well, why? Why were you confused? Someone was installing a device in your safe space to keep you warm. There's no confusion there. Not at all. But to your mental midget mind, that's confusing. Why didn't college complete the installation over the summer when the building was empty? What was going on during the summer? Hmm. Perhaps there was coup lockdowns, perhaps? I don't know what was going on in Ohio, but perhaps they couldn't, I don't know, let's, let's thought experiment this out. Let's say they couldn't, they didn't have the proper funding or they didn't have the parts because of a supply shortage. Perhaps they just got it now and they have to install them before the, well, we're in the fall now. Imagine that. You're so pissed off and angry at the university for having somebody that you don't like or you hate, apparently, install something that's going to help you out later in your safe space. I'm freaking believable. Why couldn't they tell us precisely when the workers would be there? Why is it your concern? Many times maintenance goes into these buildings and universities because they get a work order and it says, huh, I need to do this. So they do it. They don't need to contact the the local political commissar, transgender, two-spirited demikin, to let you know what they're going to do. That's not your... It's above your pay grade. How about that? Why were they only notifying us the day before the installation was due to begin? Oberlin student Peter Frey Witzer. And there's your... (laughs) All you need to know right now. Hyphenated last name. That's all you need to know. Wrote an op-ed published in the college newspaper on Friday. The student said he grew concerned because he not he had not heard of the installation plans before the school email was sent on October 7th. He explained that the crew would likely be cisgendered men entering Baldwin Cottage, which is home to a safe space for women in transgendered carbon-based life forms. <laughs> Jesus. I can't even believe I'm reading this. That we're in a time where someone is mad that uh, someone's installing something for quality of life and getting so pissed off that they have to write an op-ed. In general, I'm very adverse to people entering my personal space. Well there, chuckle fuck, let me tell you something. When you get out into life, which I'm pretty sure you've already been out, you're going to be invading a lot of other people's personal space. And I guarantee you that maybe they don't want you to be around them. Maybe you sicken them. Are you going to take in, take in count for their feelings? 
probably not. You're probably going to go out and say, you must, you must accept me into society or else I'm going to cancel you. This all goes back to being canceled or you have to listen to what I say. You have to believe my truth, even though if that's your truth, cool. But guess what? I don't have to believe it. I'm not saying I do or don't, but this is all hypothetical, of course. But again, this is ridiculous. This anxiety was compounded by the fact that the crew would be strangers. Stranger danger! And they were more likely to be cisgendered men. How dare you? How dare you to assume that they're men, you bigot? The work crew eventually showed up at the dorm, and Frey Witzer described that he saw immediately that they were all men. <clears throat> and again, how dare you assume their gender, bigot? It was clear that the college had not made a special request that male workers not be allowed onto the upper floors of the Baldwin, the student continued. Again, let me, let me just say this. They have to install the radiators in all the rooms in all of the building. So how are you going to do it? Are you going to find somebody who's a woman to do it? I'm sure there are women who install radiators. Not that many, but I'm sure there are. But I don't think the college has the time or the resources to wait to ad adapt to your needs and wants, bigot. <laughs> Frey Witzer asked representative of the college who he called Polo Man because he was wearing a neat polo. How dare you, again, assume the man's gender or the person's gender, bigot. Who accompanied the crew if he could reject getting the radiator installed. The college emissary apparently said no, and the student left for class to allow the work to continue to make the dorm improvement. He was already going somewhere. What does it matter? Again, he's a goddamn bigot. He's a piece of shit. He or she, I don't know what to do. I don't want to assume this person's gender, but he's a piece of shit. Or she's a piece of shit. Or it's a piece of shit. Or they is a piece of shit. Whatever. By the time I had come back to work, they appeared to be done. Though the polo man warned me that they would re return later in the week to check the, insul the insulation, or inst installation probably. Sure enough, they were back the next day. I felt mildly violated and a little peeved. Right. How dare they come back and check their work to see it was done 100% correct. Bigots, I tell you. 100% across the board. Frey Witzer said he asked how the other students in the dorm felt about the work crew, with many complaining about the me about messes, noise, and other typical complaints that accompany construction projects. Others noticed that they didn't feel comfortable <laughs> with how the school handled the installation. Again, guys, gals out there in Lazo Land, this is fucking ridiculous. There's these people out there that have a certain set of skills. They install stuff in colleges, stuff in rooms, stuff in houses. When they go to go to a job site, they say, "Okay, we need to install uh, 17 radiators in this, uh, you know, this building." And they go and do that. They're very highly highly qualified. You have to be. I mean, I could possibly do it myself without knowing really how to do it, but you still need to have some experience because sometimes the pipes won't line up, the threads are, you know, a little shoddy, so you have to go in there with a file and file down the threads. Or the, so a lot of different things that pop pop up that a normal person like myself wouldn't necessarily know. Even though I'm mechanically inclined, I wouldn't know, really know how to do it. Could I do it? Sure. But, again, if these idiots out there in these safe spaces get pissed off, well, then you know what? Tell them to go, hey, guess what? Install it yourself, idiot. They couldn't do it because I, I guarantee goddamn to it. Without knowing anything about this person, he couldn't do it. There's no way. This person, this person's weak, as I stated in the, earlier in the video. This person is a very, very weak person. Probably not mechanically inclined. And doesn't know when you make, when you install a radiator, you're going to make a little bit of a mess. Regardless of how good you clean up, there's going to be a little slight mess. That's to be expected. But these idiots out there in this safe space have no fucking idea how the real world works until they get out into it. And then they become politicians and run school boards, and that's part of the problem. And Indian here says, I understand, of course, that installations like this are routine. The college needs to improve its facilities occasionally, and who am I to stand in that way of that? After all, I get a brand new spanking radiator right in time for the cold winter. 
but why not finish the project during the four months of the summer semester when the building wasn't occupied? And of course, Oberlin College didn't uh, respond to any press or questions. But listen, there's a supply chain or supply shortage, supply chain shortage going on. And this fucking mental midget is out there complaining that, why don't they stall during the summer? Supply chain or <laughs> supply chain disruptions that are going on. And this fucking moron doesn't understand that. He sh this person only sees what's right in front of him. He sees a man, which he auto automatically assumes a man, which is, a, which is very bigoted of this person, to assume that, why did they do it during the summer? What if they didn't have the radiators? That's it. That's the end of this story right here. What if they didn't have the radiators at the time? What if they didn't? Well, they didn't. And they installed them, and they got and this person got pissed off. Colleges out there are rife with weak-minded people. <laughs> Mentally weak and physically weak. Much like this person right here. To say that, how dare a person invade his safe space? Well, you know what? There, buddy old pal. You're invading my safe space. Just by you existing in this world.